Good morning. We join you now with further updates and coverage of the situation as things develop in Florida. We have reports coming in from all over the room about the situations as they develop. Later we'll be asking questions, what more could have been done? And how is FEMA and room service responding to the problems as they occur? But first, let's go live to Ray over by the coffee machine to see what the situation is there. Ray, how are things over by the coffee machine? Thanks, Ray. We're over here by the coffee and tea making facilities in the room. Um, things aren't too bad over here, but unfortunately, I don't know if you can see this, we've only got one more coffee packet left, and it is decaf. I'm not sure how much longer people can survive on just decaf, Ray. Looks pretty bad. So, words have been sent out. Apparently, again, room service has been informed, but we haven't seen them yet, really. Um... FEMA, no response yet, and certainly no words from the White House regarding this. Thanks, Ray. Crisis indeed at the coffee machine. We will keep you updated to the availability of non-decaf coffee to the room as it occurs. Now, we have a report now over by the air conditioning unit where apparently there is a large amount of cold air coming out of it. Our reporter on the scene is Ray. Well... Hi, we're over here by the air conditioning unit and as you can see, there's a considerable amount of air coming out of the air conditioning unit. Um, it's been like this for at least five minutes. Um, we're hoping that somebody's able to correct this situation and have the air conditioning turned up, which means that the air conditioning unit itself will switch off. Um, we're really unsure, we haven't had all the details from the authorities yet, but the way it apparently works is if the thermometer is turned up, the air quantity will go down. We're waiting for a government statement about that, and again, FEMA and the White House have yet to comment on this whole matter. Back to you, Ray. Thanks, Ray. Well, it looks quite complicated situation developing over by the AC unit. Many people are asking, of course, and could the more control have been done to this situation? We are waiting for responses from BP about the AC unit, but a spokeswoman for BP said today, I have no idea what you're talking about, I'm busy, go away or I'll call security. Well, tough words indeed there from BP. Let's hope it doesn't have to come to that. Another press release uh, just in from room service. Uh, there's a room service man just coming in says, Is everything okay, sir? There have been complaints from other guests about a lot of noise coming from your room. Do you need a hand with the air conditioning? Well, there's good news indeed that somebody may very well be able to control the air conditioning situation. We'll give you more about that as the situation develops. But another developing story is from the bathroom, and we have a live feed from Ray in the bathroom. Ray, what's going on in there? Can you give us any information? Thanks, Ray. This is Ray from the bathroom, and as you can probably see me behind me, the shower is running. So despite all the attempts and all the crisis going on right now with Irene, the shower in the bathroom is actually still running. But that's not all the good news. Unfortunately, we are down to the last container of body lotion. Now, I've been told by the management that there is more body lotion on the way, but we haven't heard from room service yet and nobody from the White House seems to be concerned, and FEMA definitely aren't making any inroads in providing more body lotion here. That's great, Ray. Um, now, the body lotion situation obviously under control there, but can you confirm what are the hazards with the shower that's running? The shower is running, Ray, yes, um, and if Nobody turns it off, there will be flooding in the bathroom. But we hope to have the shower off very soon. I've been told by room service somebody will be available to turn the shower off. Well, that's good news, Ray, that uh, somebody should be able to control that situation. So we're hopeful that uh, everything's going to be good there, Ray. Take care of yourself and uh, enjoy your time in the bathroom, Ray. Thanks, Ray, and uh, back to you. Well, that's certainly... Uh, Developing interesting stuff there in the bathroom. Um, we hope uh, hope Ray's going to be fine out there. So um, we're just having. Uh, 
We're just getting just getting a report in right now. Actually, uh, some update news or from a previous report here. Uh, we go back to Ray at the coffee machine. Well, great news over here by the coffee and tea making facilities, Ray. As you may be able to see from behind me, a big supply of regular coffee has turned up. We've got, I can see four or five packets may have turned up from Zoom service. Quite an outstanding feat here. I think this just shows that the services and authorities can really come together when they really need it. People are rejoicing already, I believe. I believe somebody will be making coffee shortly. That's outstanding, Ray. Certainly good news and a lot of very happy people from all over the room. Well, that about wraps it up for our coverage for now. You can get further updates from our website at www.wtf.news.com or you can follow us on Twitter at Shouldn't Ray Be Working Harder? And of course you can follow us on Facebook, which is really, you have too much free time, Ray. One final update, and that's from the press, uh, the USA Today, um, covering some incident in New York about a little rain that went sideways. Well, that sounds far more interesting. Well, that's it for now, and uh, thanks for joining us. Goodbye.